find a picture of your younger self. Find um, a picture of you when you were a child. If you're feeling down today, if you woke up and you're feeling down or something happened and you, you think you let yourself down, what would you tell to that kid? Would you be... Would you want them to feel proud of you? I had this thought of looking at a picture of uh, basically talking to little Joe. And I can have a billion moments of when... I can think of a billion moments of when I, I would say that to me because a lot of I was always an introverted kid trying to fit in, always thinking, why is everyone so different than me? And I was not always a happy kid. And Everyone else around me was very happy and I pushed myself. I can't give me that. I pushed myself to, to be happy, to do what everyone else was doing, to go to all those parties. Bless me. I was just trying to fit in. What would I say to that, to little Joe? Little Joe would be amazed of what I have become, of who I am right now. I thought of this on Saturday morning when I woke up and I was having my little meditation and I was, you know, in the morning I always, I love the mornings, I'm a morning person now. I grab the morning um, straight away. I just, and I had, and I, when I meditate I keep thinking of people, people from my life keep coming into, you know, my head and on Saturday morning, I thought of little Joe, how proud, how immensely cool she would think I am. I made little Joe proud and I got so emotional. I started like properly sobbing. Because... <laughs> No one else has ever told me that they're proud of me. I am proud of myself. You should be proud of yourselves. You should embrace your quirkiness, the uniqueness. Your uniqueness is what makes you amazing. If we were all the same people, nothing, th there wouldn't be any beauty. <laughs> I am the best version of myself right now. And little Joe, that kid at 10 years old, struggling to fit in, she would look at my achievements and she wouldn't believe it. And I'm so proud. I don't have kids, but I have that kid. My kid is me. I want to make my younger self proud. I haven't done anything. I can't imagine, I can't think of anything that I've done. Of course, I've, I've made some silly choices in my life. And I do have regrets. But where I am right now is, is the coolest <laughs> I have ever been. And I, I can say that I, I'm the coolest now. Because I realized being cool doesn't mean that you have to smoke cigarettes, like you take drugs or do alcohol, like have alcohol. I made peace with myself. I became my best friend. I can't believe I always had me as a best friend and I, I never recognized that. 
you should be proud of yourselves. Whatever you're going through, you're going through it and you're winning right now. Your, if your weirdness is, is, I love it. When people are weird, I absolutely love them. Weird, quirky, unique. This is what makes people beautiful. Be proud of yourselves. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of my child, aka me, the little Joe, from 30, 35 years ago. I'm proud of her. And I just want to... I wish I could go back and show me, like, hug me and show me love. The love that I never received. Not from my parents, not from my friends, never. And I'm telling her I'm so proud. And she's telling me that she's proud of me. And that's it. That's the meaning of life. Maybe it's not a meaning, but this is the feeling of life. I feel like my life is not a waste like I used to feel. And I'm, yeah, I love myself. I'm so proud of myself. And I am truly, truly happy and, again, proud. I'm so grateful. And I'm so grateful for you, for listening and being here. And it really means the world. When you comment, when you tell me your stories, it's, it means the world. So thank you. I have an amazing day. <laughs>